Hey everyone, welcome back to another Painting with Jay. As always, my name is Jay, so grab a brush, grab some models, grab some paints, and paint along with me. Let's rid our world of unpainted models. I'm in my new workshop. I moved, which is actually why I haven't been posting many videos. Um, I've officially moved, and I've got internet, so we're going to talk about that today, and let's, uh, I'm going to work on some Orc Boys. I realized, you know, when I was moving, I uh, had a squad of Orc Boys I worked on a long time ago. Still not finished. So, I'm going to finish them up today, get them all done and that looking nice, and uh, get them on the tabletop for power reports, of course, because i got to play some 8th edition in the near future. So, let's get painting. Yes! Alright, so hey everyone, I'm back. Look at this. A squad of... Burna Boys. And I'll be working on them today, finishing them up, getting them all nice and pretty. And uh, talk about my life, because it's been a while. It's been a few weeks since I made videos. Um, where have I been? I've been moving. You know, been busy. Um, I didn't really announce it on my channel, and I haven't been vlogging a lot lately, so... I moved. I'm still in Peterborough. But, um, I'm on the other end of Peterborough now. You know, not too far away, about 15 minute total drive. I moved total. Not too bad. Um, yeah, I'm happy. I I decided to move a little while ago, and I did. Um, yeah, it's been really good. I've been bit busy. Like, I've been moving slowly between the houses. I did the big move, actually, yesterday. And one of the reasons why I've been filming is I don't have an internet, so I've been just busy. Um, I re we realized that we, we had moved up the move a little bit and we couldn't get internet until today so because I had to kill the old services at my old house officially and so I kind of had a lot of fun you know I enjoyed it it's been a fun little journey not having internet and I'm just relaxing you know I, I occasionally put up pictures on Facebook or something I was on Facebook of knowing what's been going on with me and uh, yeah it's actually been kind of a relief just not filming relaxing Spending time with uh, with my girlfriend, you know, and just kind of chilling, taking it easy. You know, I had all these ambitions when the new stuff came out, but it got kind of squashed. Um, to be honest, I'll probably make a review about them eventually. But um, what really bugged me, to be honest, was the fact that a lot... YouTubers just had access to the materials well in advance. You know, no one in... in uh, I reached out to a couple places, but no one would really give me access to any of the rules before the release. You know, I even had to drive to KW on the day of release just to get the stuff. They wouldn't ship it to me ahead of time. And, like, that's... It, it's, you know, it's the rules, whatever. But come on, like, yeah, so many YouTubers have been saying all the rules and all the rule books and doing unboxings for weeks before that. So by the time I got my review out, it was almost as if the information, you know, it was all old. It was, you know, wasn't watched. So I did my orc, the rule book review, I did my orcs review, and really didn't get much views. So it's about that time that, um... I didn't have any internet. I just kind of said, screw it. I'm going to relax. I'm not going to freak out um, about internet. You know, I don't need to upload videos. I can just take a couple weeks off and relax. And I've been doing that. It's been awesome. It's been really good. Um, I work really hard. And I, it's been really nice to just relax. You know? Enjoy a little bit of the warm weather we've gotten and a couple of days in the last month that it hasn't rained. And it's been really, really good. So, I'm enjoying life. And I'm going to get back to making videos. You know I am. I love making videos. I'm going to figure out some stuff. I'm doing a lot of heavy thinking. But, um... Yeah, I've been working on my new workshop, getting it all nice and organized. It's pretty good so far. It's not, it, it could be a little more organized, but it's okay. But my new workshop, at least, um, 
it's bigger than it was before. I have a little more filming room. Basically, I'm using the entire basement of our new house. And, uh, yeah, it's been really, really good. Good things, you know. I'm, I'm really happy. I really am. Um, and... I can talk about this now, I guess. I, we bought the house. My girlfriend and I, uh, now I know it's a little bit of a rush in, but I don't care. Um, we bought the house together. And, you know, worse worse, we can always sell. <laughs> the Peterborough market right now is just booming. So, but, um, yeah, we decided a little while ago that we were going to buy a house together, and then we, um, One kind of came into our lap. It was awesome. So it worked out really well. It worked out really well. Uh, the only thing is that we had, the only snafu in the entire time while getting for this house was the fact that the house, we had an inspection done. Because when you buy a house, you get an inspection. And our house tested positive for asbestos containing vermiculite. So our insulation has asbestos. So we had to get the asbestos removed, and we did an abatement, and it was really expensive. But, um, it's worth it. Oh, didn't do the wash on that guy. Let's do that. So, yeah, I'm still in Peterborough, and I'm really happy. I've always wanted to own a house, and it feels really cool. And the funniest thing is, it's so much cheaper. Like, it's, it's going to be cheaper by about, I'm going to save a couple hundred bucks a month by owning the house, other than if something goes wrong, obviously. But that includes insurance and property tax and everything. The renting is just so stupidly expensive. And I've been doing it for so long, it's all I've ever known. That, um, it's really cool knowing I own this place. You know, obviously I'll own it in the next 25 years. That's how long my mortgage amortization period is. But, um, it's really, really cool. Really, really cool. I'm going to start probably vlogging again maybe next week. Um, but, um, it's really cool. That's all I can say is, is that it's awesome. I really hope things are going as well for you all in internet land. You know? Uh, what else happened lately? Um, we had a new gaming store open up. I gotta go check it out. Yeah, I met the owner the other day, but he, he seems a really good guy for Dueling Grounds. Maybe I'll talk to him and see if we can work out some sponsorship or deal or something, but Dueling Grounds. You know, that's cool. It's a good store. He's carrying GW products, which is awesome, because Grey Guardian, the only other place in this in Peterborough that would sell them, doesn't carry GW products. So, instantly... He's gotten my love because he carries GW products, you know. So I'm going to take some Ghost in Blue. And I'm going to just uh, give some Ghost Inting to the goggles. Um, but yeah. And it's been nice just, uh, just taking a break. 8th um, edition, I've not actually played yet. So I'm wanting to. I'm hoping that Dave and I are, or, uh, or, oh look at that, looks good. Or Stu and I get in some games soon. Oops, that's still wet. It's okay. Um, eighth edition. It seems really interesting, really simple. Um, Tactically, it could be interesting. Uh, there's going to be some complicated situations. But uh, it's a very simple rule set. Like, I keep having to remind myself how little rules there are. Like, you know, moving through cover doesn't exist anymore. Just moving. Terrain really doesn't come into effect. And it's a lot of strategic placements. Um, the whole no more scatter dice is just nuts. Like, you just place things now. It, that's awesome and so interesting and you know these little things I mean it's gonna take me a while to get used to the new rules 
Uh, you know, everything has wounds now. Fascinating, fascinating stuff. And um, it's, it, I can't wait to make videos on it. I do wonder if my channel will survive in the long run. It's getting to the point where I'm heavily thinking about that. But that's a different story, and we'll talk about that in future videos. Um, yeah. But, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that. But, um, yeah, so life's been really good. What else? Um, for Canada Day, Canada Day was a little while ago, a week ago, last weekend. And uh, my girlfriend and I went to Niagara Falls and saw one of my, a band that I've always wanted to see, called the Strumbellas. They're kind of an indie folk rock band from, uh, coincidentally they're from the neighboring city, Lindsay. But um, we saw them in Niagara Falls, that's kind of cool. So we drove an hour, like a few hours to go see a band that's from 20 minutes away from here. They were really good. They were with Blue Rodeo and a couple other bands, seeing Color, some Canadian bands. It was fun. Really good time in Niagara Falls. Uh, it was Niagara on the Lake, so it was actually about 20 minutes away, uh, yeah, about 20 minutes away from Mini Wargaming. So, of course they weren't open then, right? So I wasn't, I can't, couldn't go visit them or anything. I'm just gonna take some more and brown and start doing basing. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Great weekend. We're enjoying, we're just relaxing. I'm, we're taking advantage of the nice weather. Um, well, obviously the last little while has just been reorganizing the new house and, you know, getting it all organized and all clean and, um, you know, that's what happens when two people, you know, move in together. It's just, uh, you have to figure out what survives the move, what doesn't survive the move. And, uh, yeah. So it's been good. And basically, I'm in the downstairs area. It's not, it's a kind of a basement, but it's, it's on the main floor, so it's kind of interesting. But, uh, we're in a bungalow. But, uh, it'll be good. A good amount of room. Uh, we're going to test out the acoustics today and see if, uh, let me just that, yeah. Acoustics don't seem too bad. So, what else? I went to an event recently, had a great time. I own Bug Stew. I like to Bug Stew, it's fun. Um, and it was a good time. So I went to a tournament. And it was a two-round tournament. It just wasn't like, it was just a fun, like, event. And there was like, axe throwing and barbecue food. Uh, the guy who hosted is a really good cook. Or barbecuer or roaster, I don't know what it's called. But uh, it was good food, really good food. Axe throwing was a lot of fun. And the event was just for fun. You were playing 7th edition because they've been working on the event for so long that they worked on it well before, you know, the announcement for 8th. And it was kind of a fun way of me saying farewell to 7th edition. You know, I brought orcs, of course. Uh, the rules were a, just cads. Um, no Lords of War. No formations. Cads. So I brought my, you know, usual grunt tanks, which were loud. And read a lot of fun. I won a game. Uh lost a game but barely and uh, had a good time and I won a prize and the prize that I won was actually a really cool piece of terrain that uh, Stu made for the event so I'll use that in future battle reports my new battle report room is a little bit bigger and um, I got a new table I should make a video of this probably I just I put a couple of foldable tables together um, so that way I can start using mats and I can start showing different terrain types and work on stuff in the future and it'll be really cool and as I'm going to start working, I'm, I'm working a little bit, but I got to really back on to the stuff from Death Ray Designs, getting that train all done, and uh, sooner than later I'll have a full piece of, you know, like a huge variety of terrain to make some great battle reports. And I'm really hoping, I'm going to, I'm going to start mixing up my style a little bit for the battle reports, try to make them a little higher production content, and try to get views back again. You know, back in 7th edition when it started out, I was one of the more watched YouTubers in Battle Reports. Now I'm really not. Probably because they're not coming out regularly and slowly but surely other people have been catching up and doing better Battle Reports. 
So I got to get back on my game. I really do. And so I hopefully we'll be able to film some in the next little while. You know. What else? Um, the concert series in Peterborough has started again. I missed the first couple performers, which I really didn't care about the opener. The opener is a rocker named Kim Mitchell. Uh, I'm not the biggest Kim Mitchell fan. You know, if you like the song Patio Lanterns, cool. Uh, but that was the same day as Canada Day, so I was at the concert singing from Bellas. And, uh, but I did get to see um, a classic rocker that I really do like. Hmm. She doesn't have acoustics right now. They're interesting. But uh, Tom Cochran. I saw Tom Cochran last weekend. Uh, so, and he was uh, at Peterborough Music Fest. And it was really cool. So, of course, Life is a Highway, his classic rock song. You know. On, the, on Canada Day, we were driving to Niagara Falls, and there were a countdown of like the top, hun, uh, the top fifty greatest Canada Canadian songs. And it was pretty much pop or rock, you know. Number two was actually Summer '69 by Brian Adams, and I was really surprised. Number one was Ironic by the song, you know, the '94 song by Alanis Morissette. It's pretty funny. Didn't see that one coming. So that was pretty funny. Um, look at this. So this was actually going to be probably a shorter video. I don't know. I'm working on these guys, and they're, I'm almost done them. Maybe I should have prepared more. Oh, well. I'll start painting this guy. Old guy I found. Well, moving. Start working on him. But, um... Yeah. So I smell really good. It's been good. I'm just keeping busy, working a whole lot, and enjoying life. And that's what I really needed. Uh, it's crazy how this year has been kind of the complete opposite of last year. And I'm, it just shows that life swings, you know? There's good moments and there's bad ups and downs. And for those of you, I know some of you are going through some crap right now. It always gets better. Or it gets better. You know, maybe not always, but it gets better. And like a year and a half ago, almost, yeah, I guess just over, you know, over a year and a half ago, I was at my lowest low. And now I'm just doing an awesome. So. Yeah, it's been good, really, really good. Unfortunately, my Glasgow Thraka, where I've been rebuilding, didn't survive the move. He was pretty much the only model that really got badly damaged. And so I've been rebuilding him. So I've repinned his arms, his head, his horns broke off. This part I can't even find. And then his base even got shattered. So I've replaced it with some, it's not very nice, but I've replaced it with some green stuff to build the base back. I'm going to re... Uh, grass it, or re, you know, sand it, and just make him look better again. He'll be fun. He'll be a beast on the, on the battle reports content. Yeah. Can't wait to try some orcs. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, it's kind of weird now with Burna Boys, because they are, you know, there's no more templates. They switched to D3, which is okay. To me, they're kind of a close, comp, they're like a close distance Luda. They automatically hit. That's nice. But it's strength four. It doesn't ignore cover. So I'll try them out. Like they have the potential for craziness. I think orcs, the problem is with orcs is they need something with sniper. Because sniper to me is one of the biggest, uh, it's going to be one of the most auto-include things is something with sniper. Like a, a Vindicare assassin. Uh, scouts with sniper rifles are insanely good now. Because they can just pick off any, H, uh, any character, right? If you have a, if you have a snipers, they can just shoot and target enemy HQs. So against most orc armies, somebody who has a bunch of snipers in the backfield will just mop up the war bosses and you know go and they'll be crazy. So.
So that'll be an auto include. I think the orcs are better. I really do think that they're better now. They were one of the weaker armies in uh, 7th edition. Here, let me just quickly base these guys and they're done. This will probably be like a 40 minute pain of J or something, a shorter pain of J, I guess. Because I'm, I guess I could start on the old other guy. So let's grab some paint. Got some block here. Um, oh yeah, my glue. Um, but yeah, it's been fun. Like it's it's fun kind of trying to recite what's going been going on. Uh, what else has been really cool? Not much. I've been just really working, really working on moving between the two houses, getting the other house cleaned up. My old landlords. I've gotten a little greedy. Um, I was surprised that they were showing the house so much because, like, my ex-wife and I, we jumped on the house when we were renting, uh, and it was went really quickly. So I naturally assumed that they weren't going to be showing the house, and that's actually one of the reasons why I wasn't filming for a little bit as well, was I had to be out of the house a lot while they were showing the house, and they repeatedly showed the house. So many people, and I couldn't for the life of me figure out why it was taking so long, and then it hit me. I wonder what they're charging for the house. Because right now in Peterborough, there is a bit of a renter's crisis. There aren't very many rental properties available. And I was thinking, hmm, what if they got greedy? Like, obviously the house is already paid for. And I know how much I was paying. So I looked it up and I found the posting online. And the landlords were asking for $300 more a month than I was paying. $300. Like, it's getting ridiculous. That It was so silly to me. Because, and somebody's probably paying it. Because they stopped showing the house as of, like, a week ago. That was the last time they showed the house. So, I've been getting the house ready to move while, you know, showing the house simultaneously. Because, you know... They, I have to show the house. So, you know, and that's why I had to pack up my workshop. The workshop was one of the areas that was pretty dirty, and I got it all cleaned up. But, uh, yeah, 300 bucks more a month. Like, that's gouging to me. Kind of annoys me. Because people need to find affordable housing. And at this point, like, that's way more than the mortgage would have been worth on the house. And it's plus utilities, like plus everything. So, my old housemate is, of course, gone. She's living in. No, I still have the house. That's the thing. I should mention that. I still actually have the house until. Uh, uh, in July, right? First day of August. So, um, that's. Yeah. But so she's gone. She moved to another house as well. We're not. We didn't stay together, you know. Um, it's good. That way she's kind of gone her own way and doing her own thing. She wanted to be closer to work, or to her work, and uh, we're in the south end. We're in the opposite side of Peterborough than her work. And she doesn't have a car or anything. She, she taxis, so... That's okay. I gave her plenty of notice. You know, I gave her two and a half months notice that when we're moving... And... These guys are going to be done. Look at that. I'm excited. I got a bunch of burner boys. Hmm. But uh, yeah, so if you're gonna see my. I'm gonna, I'll maybe do a couple videos on my new areas once they're all organized and painted or organized. You know, I have a lot more storage here, and uh, I'm inside the house, which is nice because I can just walk downstairs and paint and film. It's gonna be much more convenient, and I'm hoping it leads to many more videos. Uh, of course, I still work my butt off, and I'm I'm fighting for maybe another promotion. I'll see. Yeah. I'm hopefully going to be able to go to Gen Con. We'll see. I'm trying to get the days off work. And maybe my car probably won't survive it, but that's okay. My car's not doing too well.
Look at that. one so that's good that'll be getting some burner boys on the table my work army is still pretty big you know I should do a display of it one day but look at that squad of burner boys done all done let's start working on this guy this large pewter one hmm. let's quickly dust it off it's pretty old and dusty it's an old metal one a few generations ago. Yeah, look at him. So let's start working on this guy. Let's start working on flesh tones. So, I'm gonna grab some raw flesh. Let's see, moot green, nope. War boss green, yep. Alright, so go grab some pets. Extracting green, perfect. Scarsnick green, yep. I just need to find my wild tan green and my mm, maybe a thermium camo shade. Hmm, that'd be kind of cool too. Wa flesh. My wa flesh. There's wa flesh, I believe. Yep. Wa flesh. And some bile tan green. I gotta organize my paints. That's the one. Uh, definitely organize my paints. Maybe I'll get something to organize them. Let's go. 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 let Start some raw flesh. Hmm. Get some thinner. I a medium. This is good. Just working on stuff. Stuff and things. So not much left. I guess I'll go to Dueling Ground sometime and pick up some milk. As you can hear, girlfriend's upstairs. All right, let's just. I can be a little messy if I want, because it's pretty easy work with thin paints. And let's get this guy. One, two. His actually his flesh tones are pretty close to what I normally paint, so Yeah. Hmm. My girlfriend walks pretty heavily. <laughs> That's okay. Once I've done. Next I'll paint. This 
Nice little Gretchen. It is a little humid in here, so I maybe she got a dehumidifier or something. That's okay. Orcs are going to be fun to play. Um, of course, play some Tyranids and some Orcs in the near future. And just see what, you know, what uh, sticks, essentially. You know, see what I like, what I don't like about the new rules. Um, that'd be cool. I'm excited. This guy's going to be cool to paint up. Um, all done in the next couple weeks. An HQ. Yeah. Really cool to have a shock attack gun. I don't think I've ever used a shock attack gun. I found them in a box. So. combination of bus and some heater system turning on. So this will be a good test video about the acoustics. Yeah, you definitely hear in the background. That's okay, my computer's finally set up and I have internet again. Yeah, that's not bad. Should probably let that dry for a second. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I guess they should set up like multiple orcs or something to paint in the future. Because this one guy is gonna take me not too long. I'll, I'll work on him in the next few weeks. Mm. Yeah. I can definitely get this thing looking awesome. Uh, what else? Blue. I use my old board iron blue for his pants and stuff. Yeah, the game is so much simpler for sixth, for seventh, eighth edition. I'm gonna say seventh edition, eighth edition. So much simpler. Yeah, the rules are gone. Like it's just crazy how most major rules are just gone. You know, and then obviously like the indices came out, and then they just announced yet uh, on the weekend, or I guess at some point, the codices are dropping again. And it'll be like 10 new codices before the end of the year. To which my response is, really? That's kind of a annoying that you fork out money for these indices and then you have to replace it pretty quickly. But, uh, well, so Space Marines are going to get yet another codex. And these codices better che be cheap. They better be cheap. Because um, that's not fair if they're not, you know. Because it's a lot of new codices. Like, you can't, you can't just keep pumping up books, you know, so rapidly. So, or as you can, but... Uh, It'd be annoying to your viewers, or to your, to your um, the people who invest in your product, you know? So, we'll see. Hopefully they're like decreased price, like 20 bucks or something, because they're, we'll see. It's fun to start to paint a new 
character I haven't painted in a while. Or, actually, I've never painted this guy, sorry. I painted a few for commissions. So I think I know what color scheme I want for it. But, um... It's gonna be fun to just get this guy looking awesome on the battlefield. My girlfriend is a cat, by the way. Uh, that's not Mandy, of course. Um, I call him Garfield. He's an awesome little guy. Of course, he's a cat, so you know he just likes to uh, figure out where you don't want him and put himself right there. So he's a pretty funny little guy. Actually, he's bigger than Spock, so I shouldn't say little. Look at that. Okay. Good, good, good. So he's he's a really heavy model. I'm going to get this guy a quick shading, and then probably call it here. Because I'm painting for 40 minutes now. About 40 minutes, I'm guessing. I can't see the clock. So I'm estimating about 35, 40 minutes. And I'll keep working on this guy over the next, you know, a few weeks. And get it all nice and, and pretty. Get the model done and uh, get them on the tabletop. Another HQ that I really want to try out. I really want to also custom build a few models. I want to try maybe a series where I'm building, you know, especially with orcs. There's so much opportunity to build my own guy that I really should start a series, starting a couple new series, like kit bashing with orcs. You know, it'd be pretty cool. There we go. And... Look at that. So he's gonna be, this guy will be... Yeah, this will be my new Pain with J-Mall, I guess, for a while. I uh, should work on some terrain as well. That's my other thing I'm, I'm probably going to do in the near future as well. So, he's shaded. I'm um, probably going to call it, yeah, let's call it here. We've gotten some good amount of work done today, and I'm happy. Let's call it now. So that concludes another Painting with Jay. Really hope you got some stuff done, had a great time, got some work done, and hopefully your lives are doing well too. I really hope so. I'm glad I'm back to making videos for you all. I'm really am sorry for this few weeks off, but I just need to take a break, plus having no internet and moving. You know, understandable. So I got some stuff done, working on a new model. Life's good. So that'd be cool. As always, it's a free content video, so a huge thank you to all my Patreon subscribers. As you can see, their names go by my head. If you want to help support my free videos, check out the link in the description below, please. I really help. It really does help a lot. So stay tuned for more videos. Until next time, this is Jay saying happy painting. With me.